said we're out here doing some weightlifting. What? Cleaning jerks. What? Snatches. What? Snatch balances. What? I'm here to get strong. What? To build muscle. What? To get bigger. What? We're on the mission for hypertrophy. What? And then I got a little thirsty with my boy Ben. So we grabbed some beer. What? Then I grabbed some whiskey. What? Then we took a shot of tequila and got all fucked up. Fucked around and cleaned 175 kilos right up a candy ass. Feels half damn decent. I've been tanning, can you tell? I've been listening to my meditations. I'm tanning on my roof. Do you my, really? Yeah. I'm trying to improve myself. Sometimes you go in phases of improvement where like, I need to pay more attention over here because I'm stressed about all the bills I write. And sometimes like, all right, like all this is like, at least cruising at 70%, I can put some focus over here. So I'm back on focusing on me. Self-care. You know what we say? <laughs> me do me. Yeah, self-care. But I don't just pop pills to take care of my goddamn self. I sleep a lot, try to get a lot of liquids. Maybe it's those fucking knee wraps that smell. Oh, they do smell. But not as bad as our trash. And then I, I listen to some wise people talk some meditation things, you know? Out here trying to get learned. Like what? I don't know. Uh, power and now, and uh, alchemist and stuff. Well, smart people things. Smart, huh? You didn't expect that answer. I mean, I don't really know what the power and now is, but the alchemist is a fictional story, yeah. I don't know. No, I, I don't know. I don't know what the hell the alchemist is. A friend recommended it. But I think it's like, get your learn on stuff. And this other one is like some spiritual get your learn on stuff. People will know. The people will know. I do know the power now is what I've been jamming on. And that's some deep, deep shit. Okay, we're trying to get deep, boys. And girls. All 10% of the ladies watching. You want to get deep. It's good though. Whether you believe in it or adapt it or not, I think just the exposure to some of these things are really good for the brain. Think on it, sit on it, be with it, be with your thoughts, and then if you buy in, buy all the way in and adapt it. If you don't buy in and it's not up your river, I don't think it's a, that big of a deal. Move on to the next learnings. Figure that out when it comes. We're getting deep on Instagram lately too. Getting deep, bro. You know, deep on Instagram, people seem to like it. They like to hear inner, uh, inner Mikey's thoughts. Which, to be honest, tend to be a little negative. But we try to put in a, a bright light. Do my best. So we talked about, I talked about quitting, really. And I don't talk about quitting like your guru might talk about quitting. Pain, gain, never give up. So I'm sure there's plenty of shit I've given up on. And I actually don't think quitting is the worst thing. People talk about that nowadays, especially in America, with blaming millennials for not being able to stick to anything. I think there's a difference between quitting and giving up. I think there's a difference between quitting and stopping progress or stopping movement. I think that quitting isn't the end of the world. Sometimes that journey, that path, if you've given it an honest go, it's over. And it's time to move on. It's time to try something new. It's okay, we have different chapters in our lives. Giving up is more of a different story where you're literally just stopping. No matter what, I'm gonna continue to move. Whether it's on this weightlifting deal, powerlifting deal, spiritual journey, mental journey, business, podcast, YouTube. I don't know what it will be, 
I may have to quit some or stop some, but I'm never going to give up. I'm always going to continue to move. And as long as you're moving, as long as you're focused on something with intent, with progression, business, life, friendship, relationships, marriage, whatever you're into, then you're okay in my book. If I was going to go and commit a crime, which I don't think I've really committed a crime in my life, I mean, I'm sure I have, but nothing that comes to mind, I would turn this song up real fucking high. Yeah. On some noise canceling, yeah. Whatever it is, whatever it is, I feel like this would allow me to actually perform that because I'm a good yeah. human. And it's I would be Yeah. Kind of strange, kind of that yeah. yeah. Or what's the what's the movie where there's no rules for 24 or 7? Uh, or whatever. Purge. 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 If there was a real life purge, I would need like this kind of playlist. Yeah. To even survive. To yeah. even have a chance. Of just crank it. So this is your purge spot. You just crank this on repeat, just running around. Yeah. Getting everything together. White hockey Shoot mask. Just fucking axe. The guy that. Uh, Dumped all the trash in our trash can. He's I'm number chasing one. him down, dude. He's number one I'm on the list. I'm going to be with the axe. <laughs> <laughs> we left our trash can out one day, like so. We bring it out, it gets dumped, yeah, yeah. and then we left it uh, ten hours, and then we go and there's like it's full again with not our trash, and it smells what? like shit. There's like fifths of vodka in it. Not all of it. No, I, We're kind of by some I cut most of homeless it. areas. I get it. Yeah, but now our trash yeah. smells like shit. From not your shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when you smell like shit, it's a deal with it. Four forty. Hips are a little tight, so squat heavy today. Tomorrow off. Squat heavy again. I might hit like another deload. I might have to lower the frequency. I was squatting five days a week. So I'm gonna have to go to three to four. See what my old hippies can do. <laughs> Here's a real question we didn't ask them. You behind the lens, or behind the screen. I guess you're behind the lens. I'm sorry I talked to you that way, Connor. <laughs> you behind the screen. Gatorade at your local grocery store, 99 cents. Powerade at your local grocery store, 69 cents. Does that define Powerade as an off-brand Gatorade? Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. This? Uh, Yellow? Ten Owie. Soft on that one elbow, but you know, 
I'm only giving him one cue at a time. When you're kind of banging out reps like this, you can afford a little bit of mental energy to focus on one thing at a time, not everything at a time. Yeah, it felt a little in front too, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he did the feet thing, so yeah. hopefully the next couple look better. Yeah. yeah. Lifting. What? Clean and jerks. What? Snatches. What? Snatch balances. What? I'm here to get strong. What? To build muscle. What? To get bigger. What? We're on the mission for hypertrophy. What? And then I got a little thirsty with my boy Ben. So we grabbed some beer. What? Then I grabbed some whiskey. What? Then we took a shot of tequila and got all fucked up, fucked around, and cleaned 175 kilos right up a candy ass!